dear, dear, I've got so much stuff. I need to pop that down. I don't know about you, uh, but I've been looking around my house uh, over the last few weeks and thinking about how much stuff I've got. And do I really need all this stuff? I haven't even been using all this stuff when I've been spending lots of time at home, far less when I'm busy with other things. So I've been doing a bit of a clear out. Perhaps you've been doing something similar as well. So let's see what I've got. Gold. Well, in actual fact, I don't have very much gold. Uh, the only gold thing I can immediately think of is my wedding ring, and that is special, and I'm not going to get rid of that. But I do know there's lots of things around my house which are valuable and I don't use. And so perhaps I should think about selling them and perhaps using the money I make from that to go to good causes so that just as I've been blessed, so I might bless other people with the riches I have. Bag. Well, we've got lots of bags at the moment. Bags full of rubbish. Perhaps you're the same. Why do we keep all that rubbish? Why do we hoard it up as if it's going to be of any use? So we've been doing a lot of clearing out, filling the bags out, up, and uh, uh, we'll dispose of that in due course. Shirt. Well, I've got more than one spare shirt. I've got lots and lots of shirts. I have begun to go through my clothes and thinking about the clothes I don't wear anymore. There's nothing really wrong with them, but perhaps I can give them away to help other people. Perhaps I could give them to Coco's Foundation or to a charity shop so others can be blessed uh, with all these extra clothes that I have. Sandals. Well, I've also got lots of footwear, lots and lots of footwear. In actual fact, I spent most of my time recently in slippers. So it made me realise, do I really need all these shoes and sandals? And often at this time of year, I think about going on holiday and about uh, buying a new pair of sandals, whereas actually last year's pair will do me perfectly well. Staff. Now there's a curious word. It's the kind of word that you might use about teachers at school or people that work in an office being a staff. But the picture gives us a clue that a staff is something else. It's about uh, something like a walking stick. And so there's some things I've looked at and thought they're so precious and special. I really rely on those things and I need to keep them. So things like my laptop, uh, my telephone, uh, my pictures, my wallet, all kinds of things that I need to keep hold of. All of those things come from a story that uh, Jesus told uh, when he was talking about sending his disciples out into the world to carry on the work that he had begun. I don't know, perhaps one of them said, but Master, what do we need to take with us? And so he answered by really saying, you don't need to take very much at all. He said, you don't need to take gold or silver or copper, the things that we might think are valuable. You actually only need to take God's love, which is the most valuable thing. He said, you didn't, don't need to take a bag with you. What kind of bag might we have when we go out? So I know when we go on holiday, our bags and suitcases are, are full of lots of things that we just might need. But Jesus said, don't worry about taking all those extra things. Just take yourself. And don't worry about having to take bagfuls of arguments. Just take yourself. 
Don't think about taking bagfuls of gifts or of money to try and persuade somebody of God's love. Just take yourself. Shirts, what does God want us to look like when we go out with his love? You may have noticed today I'm not wearing my clerical collar. That's because it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is, again, that we take ourselves, that we take God's love, and not worry about what people think we look like. Sandals. We always picture Jesus wearing a pair of sandals. And we might think we don't look like Jesus. Well, in one sense, we don't. Again, we need to be, be ourselves. Although God will help us to be like Jesus without having to wear sandals, without looking like Jesus, at least physically but we can look like Jesus by the way we act and the way we speak. Jesus told them not to take a staff with them, not to take a walking stick. That's because he wanted his disciples to rely on him and him alone. And so when we want to share God's love, let's rely entirely on God. Let's turn to him and ask him for strength. So what's left? It's me. And I can ask God to take me and use me to share his love with others. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that you do bless us with many good gifts and uh, We've enjoyed those gifts over the, the coming weeks, especially as we spend lots of time at home. But dear God, we realise we have too much, too many things, too much stuff. Help us to be able to share what we've got with those who have so little. Help us to be willing to, to sell some of our things so we can give the money to those who are poor. Help us to share the food in our cupboards that we might be able to help those who are hungry. And dear God, help us to go out and show your love in our words and in our actions. Help us to be able to rely on you, asking that you would give us strength. Show us just this coming week who it is that we should speak to. We might have the chance to speak to somebody face to face or perhaps by telephone or over the internet. Show us what it is that we should do and say. Help us to make time for others, that very precious gift which we can give others. Help us to listen. In the busyness of the world, too often we're talking all the time and we don't Give people the chance to talk to us and for us to listen. Help us to be caring, caring as we uh, meet other people and as we share all that we have. In Jesus' name, amen.